Although you may be able to look up an insect based on the planet it is on or how it looks, it is good to know the orders and the characteristics of those orders so that the search can be narrowed. I'm Dr. DeBusk and this presentation is focused on only nine important insect orders that include plant pests or natural enemies. There are a whopping 28 orders of insects. In order to control a pest or know if it is naturally being controlled, you must first identify the insect. Arthropods, which include crabs, centipedes, spiders, mites, and insects, are in phylum arthropoda, which means jointed leg. All arthropods share the following characteristics. 1. Arthropods have a segmented body. The top photo shows a click beetle larvae, which can cause problems in turf grass. Notice its segmented body. Fun fact. These are also called mealworms when you buy them at pet stores for reptiles. 2. All arthropods have paired jointed legs. You can see how these legs easily bend in this assassin bug nymph, which is a beneficial organism. Unlike the extremely similar leaf-footed bug nymph, which is a plague on vegetables. How can you tell them apart? You will find leaf-footed bug nymphs in clusters and assassin bugs hunting solo. 3. All arthropods have a chitinous exoskeleton which is periodically shed and renewed as the animal grows. You can see that in this cicada that is reaching to adulthood. You'll find these very cool looking exoskeletons all over the forest when the cicadas are singing their high-pitched squeal. I'll start with those that have gradual or incomplete metamorphosis. So the nymphs look like the adults except they don't have fully developed wings. The nymphs also eat the same things as the adults. The first order is Orthoptera. Orthoptera means straight wings and refers to the long straight front wings of grasshoppers. This order also includes crickets, katydids, and mole crickets. Most orders are all about the wings. If the wings are present, species in Orthoptera have leathery front wings and fan-folded hind wings, which makes an appearance when they fly. These are plant munchers, so they have chewing mouthparts. Some other characteristics that jump out are their large compound eyes, long antennae, and two short cerci. Their hind legs are large so that they can jump. Order Dermaptera, which means skin wing, contains the earwigs, which do not tunnel into the ear. These interesting creatures have short leathery front wings and double-folded hind wings. Their most striking feature is the forceps like abdominal cerci, which are used to capture prey and defend themselves. As scavengers, earwigs feed on decaying matter with their chewing mouthparts, but also other insects and plants so they can become plant pests. These insects are unusual in that they show maternal care for their babies. Hemiptera, which means half wing, contains a large group of mainly plant pests, but also some predators. Half wing calls attention to how the front wings are half leathery and half membranous, termed hemilytra. They have incomplete metamorphosis and piercing sucking mouthparts, often called a beak, which are used to suck the juices out of a plant or insect prey. The suborder Heteroptera refers to the true bugs, so if you call all insects bugs, and it is not in this order, then you are doing them an injustice. All bugs are insects, but not all insects are bugs. True bugs also always have their common name with bug separate from the first part, like Jadira bug, two words, unlike a love bug, one word, which is a fly. Another characteristic of this group is that they have a little triangle on their back called a scutellum. They are not the only insects with this, but theirs is more obvious. To distinguish this suborder from others, a special feature is that the beak arises from the front of the head as seen in this wheel bug. Fun fact, predatory bugs have a three-part beak, while plant feeding bugs have a four-part beak. The next two suborders were originally in the order Hemoptera, which means same wing, but have now been lumped into Hemiptera. Some identifying characteristics is that their wings have the same texture throughout which are leathery or membranous and membranous hind wings. Their antennae can be long or bristle-like. Unlike suborder Heteroptera, the beak arises from the back of the head. All insects in this group feed on plant juices, and some cause significant damage or even vector pathogens, such as the glassy wing sharpshooter that vectors a bacterium called Xylella fastidiosa, causing devastating diseases like Pierce's disease of grape. Suborder Steinerinca contain bug-like insects such as aphids, scales, psyllids, whiteflies, and mealybugs. This group that also has a beak arising from the back of the head contains some of the oddest looking insects. They cause some of our largest plant problems and are major pests. 
Many of the insects in this group vector plant pathogens, such as the silverleaf whitefly vectoring the spotted t tomato spotted wilt virus, or the Asian citrus psyll psyllid vectoring the bacterium causing citrus greening. For whiteflies, mealybugs, and scales, the first instars are a crawler stage where there is a lot of movement and tends to be the most vulnerable stage for control. For scales, they stop moving after that first stage. Thrips are in the order Thysanoptera, which means fringe wing due to the front and hind wings having a fringe of hair if they have wings. They are very small, slender insects with unique mouth parts. They inject their cone-like, rasping, sucking mouth parts into the plant and suck the juices of the buds, flowers, or fruits of the plant, causing damage to these structures. Some thrips are common pests of plants, while others are predaceous and feed on mites and other thrips. Thrips have intermediate metamorphosis since they may have a pseudofringe wing pupil stage with a silken cocoon. Moving into our orders that have complete metamorphosis, these orders have several larval stages and a pupil stage before reaching adulthood. The adult and larvae often eat different foods even if it is on the same plant, such as the viburnum leaf beetle larvae eating the leaves while the adults eat the fruit. The first order I'll talk about in this category is Coleoptera, which means sheath wing, referring to the hardened front wings that form a protective cover, also called elytra. The hind wings are membranous and used for flight. This group contains the beetles and weevils, and it is a diverse group. They have different antennae shapes and chewing mouthparts. There are both predators and many plant feeders in this group, chewing on their preferred meal. The larval shape varies amongst the species and can be elongate or grub-like, often with thoracic legs, but not always. Neuroptera means nerve wing containing the lace wings and antlions. They have two pairs of membranous wings with many veins. The larvae are well known as predators with their elongate bodies and mandibles feeding on many types of soft-bodied insects. Both the adults and larvae are usually predatory, although some species may feed on nectar or pollen. If you find eggs on stalks, then you know that you will have lace wings on the way. Some larvae like to be undercover like the trash bugs with their walking garbage heap and ant lines that bury themselves waiting out prey. Diptera means two wings containing the flies, midges, mosquitoes, and gnats. Like their meaning, diptera have membranous front wings and hind wings that are reduced to knob-like halteres that are used for balance. They have piercing sucking mouthparts like the mosquitoes or sponging mouthparts like the houseflies. Their larvae are maggots with chewing or rasping mouthparts. Many of the flies are human health or animal problems. Mosquitoes are major vectors of diseases. Horseflies and other biting flights are a nuisance. Some are plant pests such as fungus gnats which will infest plant roots and moist soils. Hymenoptera means membrane wing and refers to the mostly membranous wings with few veins. They typically have large front wings and smaller hind wings that are connected with little hooks. This order contains bees, wasps, sawflies, and ants. Characteristics include chewing mouthparts, a body that is strongly pin pinched between the thorax and abdomen, and stingers which are modified ovipositors. Many hymenopterans are social with distinct caste systems. While many are beneficial as pollinators, some are plant pests such as sawfly larvae that, which resemble caterpillars. Most larvae are maggot-like. Ants can be a problem when they farm soft-bodied plant pests such as aphids in order to harvest the honeydew concentrated sugar waste that the pest produces. Many species of wasps are parasitoids and naturally control other insect species. Order Lepidoptera means scale wing referring to the many scales which cover the wing's surface. It includes butterflies and moths. Other characteristics include a proboscis which sucks nectar in large compound eyes. The adults are pollinators while the larvae feed on plants. Some caterpillars cause significant damage in a short time. The larvae have chewing mouthparts and fleshy prolegs on their abdomen. In conclusion, several orders of insects affect plants, either in a harmful or beneficial way. In order to create an IPM program, you must carefully identify the pests and determine if there are beneficials as well.